Hello and welcome back to Fords, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have a very special episode. Right here on the left hand side we have our human test subject, the random internet denizen. I cannot give you their name for I do not know how to pronounce those symbols. I recognize it only as, as the letters of another language. However, on the right hand side we have our champion. It is the AI created by us. We saw on our live stream this last this last week we had, were creating this AI and it was very effective. It has since gone through quite a few iterations. So we're going to see if it can't surprise our opponent on the other side. Looks like our opponent is going for relatively early tech as they are the armadillo commander that will allow that will allow them to be a bit more defensive with that cheaper metal. Similarly, it appears that our AI has chosen Armadillo this time around, which is an interesting predicament to defensive players. However, um, we don't, we won't be seeing passive defensive play from uh, the AI here. If you guys haven't seen it already, well, things are about to, things are about to get a little bit wild, shall we say? Let's just say that we'll be uh, draining their economy quite quite significantly especially considering our opponent hasn't gone for hasn't gone for the additional mines speaking of economy this video is sponsored by ridge wallet protect your economy with an rfid blocking ridge wallet keeping you safe from card scanners and electronic pickpockets i'm actually extremely excited with the ridge wallet uh, with its slip size and smooth edges it's far more comfortable than my previous fat wallet so make sure to check out the Ridge Wallet yourself using code INCURSUS for 10% off. Link in the description below. As things are kicking off, we have the sniper placed, ready to go, and making sure our opponent is uh, in check as our opponent is maintaining his defenses. What, what's this? All three mortars placed at once upon completion of the workshop? Oh, isn't that so pretty? immediate reconstruction of the base's internals to enable additional turbines to fund the mortars that are going to be flying at our opponents. I, I'm always excited to see mortar play, especially when, when powered by an AI because it's just mesmerizing to see all the mortars fly across the sky. It turns out having infinite APM, a little bit, a little bit strong. And in comes the mortars. Our opponent is using using that cheap metal to brace himself. Unfortunately, building exposed gunners, which is not going to help him much at all. Um, they are going to be immediately sniped. This is uh, this is about what I expect from from an AI with infinite APM and all the mortars it can possibly desire. We're expanding down below. Our champion is moving on to this next stage of damage output. On the other side, our human test target is surviving. They do have their technology complete. With the armory tech, they um, they can build flak, which is quite an expensive and premium anti-air option. He's going to need a significant amount of them in order to make sure the skies are clear opponent requesting a stop is requesting nicely that the mortar stop which is not going to happen this is endless mortar which oh look it's more mortars beautiful oh he did actually get a gunner over here it did not last long because it was almost instantly sniped Almost. It, it had just enough time to... to ooh, does it get sniped again? Oh, no. No. It's not getting instantly sniped. Must not have line of sight to the sniper. Which means it is safe. It will be able to attempt to defend. Oh, ho, ho, that was close. Actually hitting a horizontal brace there. But it will, it will shoot at least a few mortars out of the sky. There you go. He's... He's trying to defend himself here. The gunner's got a lot of work cut out for him. He's already overheated as there are now six mortar launchers. 
continuously bombarding the opponent. Oh, well, that didn't. That changed. The base must have deformed ever so slightly, probably due to the constant fire. And with the deformation, uh, the, the gunner became exposed and got, got sniped by our favorite neighborhood sniping. Just the perpetual fire. It, it isn't just the endless mortars, it's because they're incendiary mortars. They're, oh, uh, they're demoralizing, as I was about to say. As our um, human, human test friend is giving up. They are selling off, and to the ground they shall go. Bye. Once more into the fray here on the right-hand side, we have our champion, is the AI. If you guys want to give it a name, make sure to leave, leave your suggestions down below, because I don't have a name for it, so I'm going to simply be calling it our champion for the duration of this match. And facing off against our champion is the random internet denizen here in blue. He has actually played against this AI once before in the match previous. I think I may end up putting that one in the video because it is quite was quite a quite a decent match. A good a good example of what the AI, our champion, tends to do to opponents. But he did actually manage to fight back, and I'm genuinely curious as to what his plan will be this time. This time, our random internet denizen, Mr. Shotloud, has decided to go with the Pinch Fist Commander, giving him access to all that early game resource manipulation. Looks like he's going to be using that ability to fast expand down to the lower area. I imagine he's going to be placing a metric ton of machine gunners down here for reasons that you guys should not be surprised about. Yeah, there they go. He is preemptively preparing for the... Preparing for the ultimate barrage, that is, it is our champion's choice of weapon. Currently, AI is simply building himself the sniper nest. Doing what the AI does best, which is a nice, clean, and optimized build pattern. Love to see it. Infinite APM goes into infinite economic construction. Looks like our, our interloper here going with four mines this time. We'll see if that manages to pay off. I do highly recommend going extra economy versus the AI because it will attempt to drain your money, as we have seen, and you will need all the money you can get you need to defend your economy in the best way you can. But for now, I'm curious as to see what his plan going forward is. Defending is all fine and dandy. It will keep you alive, but you have to find a way to fight back. We haven't seen what is your plan to fight back here. AI is preparing to fire. Looks like we'll be firing here momentarily. There we go. Immediately the machine gunners defend against the mortars. But with three machine gunners versus three mortars, you'll see here the gunners are overheating. And the mortars are still on their way, so it is not a guarantee, but it is a pretty solid way to mitigate the damage. At least a delay that is going to be the inevitable. I'm surprised that mortar didn't make it through, but good for him. Gunners worth their weight. And one mortar makes it through, but that is no significant damage. Looks like our random internet denizen, our challenger! It's going with the laser technology. They're going to be opening with a plasma beam, or at least they intend to. Getting that battery, they will also need one storage, one metal storage, which should be placed soon-ish. Looks like he's going to prioritize adding additional gunners before, before getting that storage, which is fair. Does not need the storage immediately. Simply needs it before he places his laser. Nice heavy laser tech. Going up to the fourth gunner will help him significantly, at least up until the point where the AI expands further. Yep, and here comes the expansion. Even more expanding to add even more weapon emplacements. Ooh. The gunners unable to defend themselves successfully, losing one of their own, down to three machine gunners once more. It's going to leave them in a rough spot. All of the gunners have overheated which is going to put them in a difficult position and let at least a couple mortars through. Yep, there's two mortars landing. Just a couple. Nothing nothing terribly dangerous. But hey, all it takes is one mortar landing to destroy a gunner, and then once one gunner is down, it can spiral quite quickly. Ooh. 
Yep, that's a nice burst fire. Here are the skies. But what's this? Additional mortars have come online. And with it, um, basically any any hope that those four gunners will successfully defend indefinitely has gone away. Looks like our challengers decided to go with a fire beam first. I do not blame them. I think that is the appropriate solution, considering that it will take even longer to save up money to get to that actual heavy weapons tech, that actual plasma laser as opposed to just the plasma beam as opposed to just the fire beam. The plasma suffers the issue of costing a thousand metal, and it's very difficult to get a thousand metal when your opponent is doing everything they can, spamming out that infinite APM to drain literally your entire economy. It's gonna make things very difficult. A few mortars land here or there, as the four gunners are entirely insufficient to defend against the six mortars. Four gunners does not defend against six mortars, that's what I intended to say going up to six gunners, which will help him significantly. Of course, what our human challenger does not know is that fire beams die in one shot to snipes, to the sniper, so if he dares open this door, things are going to get very bad for him. He's going to have to, in order to use this fire beam, he is going to have to destroy the center pillar, which is going to leave the fire beam open to, I believe, is that two? That's just going to be one and eventually probably two snipers. So you do not want that to be the case, you have to be extremely careful about when you open these doors. Technically, it takes two sniper rounds to eliminate the fire beam. However, the uh, the fire beam, if hit by an incendiary round, of which most rounds are incendiary due to the fire beam's firing effect, uh, it will burn down to one shot. Oh, a swarm missile removes the moment that center pillar went away due to the fire beam's well actions. Everything started going sideways. The swarm missile investment, the anti-air is getting sniped. Ooh. Our challenger shot loud is having a rough time of it. The mortars are starting to land. He does get the fire beam off and it defends against some of the mortar rounds. It clears the skies for one volley, but one volley is not a sufficient defense. It costs him the fire beam. As the mortars come through, the snipers picking away at everything that they can. It looks like our challenger here is going to have to foot that very costly repair bill. Draining money as he hits that repair button. And draining everything else along with it. Ooh, another hit on the... M oh, that's rough. Oh, that's very rough. Yep, he's down to one machine gunner and it's overworked and overheated. Incoming another wave of mortars. The core is exposed to the mortars. If he does not get that repaired immediately, and he does, but at what cost? Oh, ho, ho, he has no more money. He's down to below 100 metal, which is not sufficient to repair everything. It looks like he has given up, and that is the end. Alright guys, check the description below for the link to this AI. Big shout out to Kronkinator for making the map, and check out that sweet 10% off code for Rich Wallets. I'll see you guys later.